Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and guess what? Yes, we're going to benchmark the Sony Xperia Z Run. Blah, 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 blah. Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, guess what we're going to do today? As the title says, we're going to benchmark this beast, the Sony Xperia Z1. Let's roll that intro. So yeah, first of all, this bad boy of a phone is running a Snapdragon 800 CPU with 2GB of RAM with an Adreno 330 GPU. For those people that are not that technical that watch my videos, all that means is that's a beast. Yeah, it means it's fast. And today we're going to show you the benchmarks. Now, these are synthetic benchmarks, so don't go on this is going to be the best device in the world just because it might have a good benchmark, although to be fair, it's pretty damn fast. Um, it's just kind of giving an indication of where the devices actually are. So the first one we're going to do is going to run the Antutu benchmark. This seems to be a very popular one, so we'll uh, run this one. So we'll give it a good old test and we'll test everything. So as always, we're going to let it do its thing. We'll come back once it's finished and we'll see the scores on the doors. So yeah, be right back. Right people, that is it. That is the Antutu benchmark done. And my device gets a whopping 34,174, which trounces everything else it's got normal benchmarked in there. That's pretty impressive. So yeah, running that 800 CPU at 2.2 gigahertz certainly helps. So the next one we're going to do is Quadrant. So let's get to Quadrant. Right, so here's the Quadrant benchmark. So we're going to run the benchmark. Once again, we're going to let it do its thing. And we'll uh, speed this part of the video up and we'll come back once it's finished. Right, and well, bam, the Quadrant benchmark is finished. And we get a 20,552 and once again when you compare up something like the HTC One X which I know it's not been updated for a while in this application it trounces everything in its path now something like the Galaxy Note 3 is probably going to beat it due to the extra RAM um, and obviously overclocked Galaxy S4s can probably get up something like this maybe HTC One's as well overclocking those bad boys with some custom kind of modification but out of the box stock this is one of the fastest devices, this is the fastest device I've ever used out of the box. And that's kind of saying a lot. I thought my HTC One was fast. No, this, this is fast. And that's it people, that is the quick benchmarking on the Sony Xperia Z1. What do you reckon? Are you impressed by those scores? Got to admit, I'm pretty impressed by those scores. If you've got any questions, as always, leave those comments down below. Please don't forget to hit that like button, it is very much appreciated. And subscribe for more videos. Anyway, people, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Cheers, everyone.